what's up guys this is the rifleman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my whoops <laughs> next episode of my sorry i just pushed the mouse over to one side the next episode of my empire did well let's play as the kingdom of bavaria and in this episode we are going to take the city of akbarabad well, that's interesting i zoomed out but i can't zoom back in um but anyway the enemy force that's in the city is at full strength but i don't think we're going to have many problems with it today we have plenty of reinforcements and we will probably be engaging this uh, either this army here or this army here in reinforcement probably this one but let's get to it once you take it where about that's leaves them with two major cities left Hindustan and mysore and we're pushing down the west coast pretty aggressively as it is so uh you know i think if we make some good progress in this episode the Mughals may actually be effectively done for, then this massive military machine I've built uh, focuses entirely on the Americas, which will be which will, that will be an incredibly uh, rapid um, assault, because the Americas never really get as fortified as they do in the, uh, in, the in the as India or Europe at least that's my experience anyway I think It'd be interesting in one of my campaigns to try and see if I can get the United States to emerge and then institute a policy of no expansion in the Americas and see if the US actually expands and takes over the continent and becomes like a major late game faction. Maybe. That could be a fun thing to do. But before we start worrying about that we have to break into the city and the reason why well, particularly, I don't normally like building the major, the last level fortifications, but I particularly don't like doing it with eastern factions, because these walls get destroyed very quickly, and it makes it quite difficult to hold. In my experience, you end up having to give up the, uh, give up defending the walls entirely, deploy back in the city, and then just rely on musketry to do the job. For now, we we are going to assault from the front. We're going to make many many breaches and prevent the enemy from being able to actually stop us. You engage there. You engage there. Let's see if I right click before the house is fired. Which it looks like I did. It begins. Yes, the heavy artillery will certainly do the job. So let's begin speeding up time. I always speed up time during this initial bombardment phase because I'm not actually doing anything really. Maybe forward one step is a good balance. Interesting, because I gave them orders, they have decided to bug out. Fire again. Good hits, good hits. Enemy mortars are redeploying, and look at the creepy nature of these mortars. I may redeploy one of the smaller units to begin engaging the smaller artillery units to begin engaging some of the other infantry on the field. Now let's see if I increase the time now. Yes, they do continue to engage. Yeah, the plan is to make loads of holes all along this wall, push all of them at once. Although I believe some of my guns here aren't actually firing. You have to wonder if it's the trees not making it viable. Okay, there we go. Got... Yeah, so they've now stopped giving orders. Or they've now stopped receiving my orders. Four guns firing, that's an improvement that might knock it down. Okay, let's start engaging another section and get the smaller artillery battery to work on 
finishing off this breach. Yeah, they I think they've ceased firing again. Ooh, one breach, continue chipping away at that section. Ultimately, that's the only mortar unit they've got. I'm not overly concerned about the rest of their force, so just start attacking these units that are in front of us. Okay, maybe once I make two breaches, I'll ease off. Well, sort of ease off. Continue the bombardment. Push up the line. Including the cavalry. Effectively make so many breaches they can't actually mass to stop us. That's the master plan. I imagine you're probably not going to be able to fire with one crewman. But we'll have to wait and see about that. Fifty-four percent. Let's run our infantry up the last leg. Because we are now starting to get some infantry deployed outside the walls so we can engage them with musketry and that will make them even more likely to break and run. Especially as they are bowmen. There we go, another breach. Oh, the bowman took some quick climb hits there. My men are squaring up, making ready. Again, picking off some of these concentrations. Okay, the AI is somewhat starting to panic. Try to get my light infantry up on the wall. I want my Gurkhas out by the gate to cover it. Let's make all my guns focus on one section. Oh yeah, they're coming out. Get my howitzers just to attack ground rather than any particular target. Get our infantry to scale the walls, get our howitzers just to cease fire. Actually, no, maybe... Can you attack the enemy general's bodyguard at range? Yes, you'll have a go. Actually, no, cease fire. There you go, you men go for the Kizilbashi cavalry. The enemy's starting to try and counter-charge us. Come on, artillery. Come on, howitzers. Drop some quick climb on that breach. Reload. Quickly. They're all right here. Well, a lot of them are right here.
I mean, you just ran straight past, which is not fair at all. go anywhere really okay once we knock out the levy we're gonna push in on the left flank we'll have created our gap all my howitzers switched around shot excellent lifeguards get in infantry get in Curacier, get in. Again, my Jaegers, they're taking positions on the walls. So we're accurate musket fire against our enemies. Gurkhas can enter the fort. Guards into the armory. Excellent precision fire here. Oh, General's bodyguard. Oh, reinforcements are coming in. Yeah, you guys get into the fort quickly. And they will start engaging the troops to the rear. You guys need to pour through into the center anyway. Get in. Get in. Get in. Where's my cavalry? Get in here. If I can get my Gurkhas just to keep advancing, hopefully. If I can get them in, the door will close, and these guys will have to either counter-assault us, or come around here. Right, you men engage the dervishes. So you guys have to commit into the melee here. Some of our infantry are going to push through to the rear areas. You're going to start charging, but it's not going to help. Grenadiers engage the Sipahi, same as you. You men take care of the artillery. To be honest, you guys actually don't engage. It'd be a musketry. Get your bayonets out and charge. Kizobashi unit. You men push up and take the centre. Seventy fourth are going to knock out their artillery. Yep, here they come. They're going to come around the flank. See, my Gurkhas now actually more upset than their infantry is. So it's actually run my Gurkhas away because they're being hit by friendly fire. It's not so friendly. It's good. I mean, these guys actually they're going to counter they're going to counter assault the walls. It's an interesting development. Run my Gurkhas over to the back of the Tufangi. Still have 
you have an infantry crew there, but the best thing to do, if, the, if this is being buggy, the best thing to do is form them up and just let them fire and fire and fire, because they will kill them eventually. Now, ideally, I'd like you guys to be now facing the other way. Oh, it says keep, just attack the ground with quick climb here and just keep dropping them. Dropping shells. There we go. They shot down the last crewman. He's loading and firing with all his might. But the garrison has fallen. And the reinforcements are retreating. Excellent. The city is ours. Kill that last two, Vangi. Get him. Uh, either way. We will take the win. And that's really significant. That's their capital. I believe it's the last of their research potential. And potentially, one of their most profitable regions now belongs to us. So let's begin with the repairs. Continue with the replenishment. Demolish university. If they only got the one, I believe it's only the one. You can push forward and engage that force there. I don't, I'm not bothered about attrition. We've got so many armies we can share the attrition around. Except for you guys that are in good condition. You men, get out of the way. Begin to push the next concentration of enemy forces. And you attack that force there, then we'll just deal with them. Excellent. Georg Guthman. Advance. I mean, I'll exempt them from tax, but shouldn't be the end of the world. There's not really a huge demand for spying, really. Except for trying to assassinate assassinate their... Uh, Religious people, and this guy at 31%, he's definitely, I was going to say, if he doesn't die now. Right, construction upgrade. Okay, now we're starting to chip away at their religious, their religious capability. You're all advancing, you're all slowly becoming Catholic. You've already tried to assassinate someone. Yeah, you're replenishing, you're moving up. Okay, you're all doing good. Can you move? No, oh, no, you're here to replenish anyway, aren't you? I remember the plan. One more turn till you're ready. A bit more recruitment here, then that's two armies we can land to push Mysore and deliver another blow. You're still replenishing, but you can begin. You will threaten Hyderabad from the south, southeast. But let's hit end turn. <laughs> yeah, you better kick us out of your ports, otherwise you might start doing some damage. You can raid your heart's content, small Mughal stacks. There's nowhere within many, many thousands of miles they can actually steal my technology from, so they are more than welcome. And that's a lot of agents. You're trying to thread the gap and do some raiding. That's your prerogative. Are you going to sail overseas? I mean, that would be perfect, because that would just be a territory that we could then immediately jump on and <laughs> capture. Once they become part of the pirate empire, I suppose. Another rake in Egypt, incredibly unnecessary. 
he's not going to make it, but let's make him run all the way up to here. Trade route raided. Now they soon ran away. Raids, raids, raids. Cool, cool, cool. Get some more of this. Those sweet, sweet tea plantations. Get the roads built. And lots of top tier buildings, including Army Staff College. Although well, we still need an engineer school. Right. So you're now at full strength. Oh, God, alive. Okay, so it's possible to destroy the Indian Empire in one turn. You can take Mysore. You. Oh, you're actually... The question is, will they stop us? Will they intercept us if we run through here? Because then we could potentially get Hyderabad in one sprint. No one else can do it. There's nowhere to land. These guys are just out of range, but they can move... Into here, will you intercept us? The only because that was possible, they may elect to intercept us and then we get our attack anyway. But you guys can move and attack Mysore. You're definitely capable of attacking Mysore. You guys, you can take all of these ships because I'm not interested in. Did you even embark? You can just land and then capture Goa through... Well, I mean, I'm not going to fight it because it's a tiny little battle. Oh, you're just out of range. But you can make it. They don't like it, but you can garrison Satara. You can demand the surrender. Well, they're not going to do it because they're... Because they're quite close to the end. To demo uh, dem yes, demolish that. I want to rebuild it with a civic government. But the point is, besieging Mysore here, you can garrison Karnataka. Now you, my hero, run through here. They will not intercept us. Oh, I mean, it's going to be a good battle. But lots of depleted troops. First, let's fight this force against Mysore. Pitched battle, small numbers. But then, <laughs> then we'll take one last city, and that will that will be the Mughals destroyed. All those armies gone. Reorganize, recompute, redeploy to the Americas. Start our next wave of attacks. And I mean. I feel bad for the 13 colonies because they're asking to have an army dropped off on every city on the coast. Oh, bless them. Okay. Guns upon the hill. How it says unlimber where, you're, where you are. Infantry. Just storm up. The enemy are mostly cavalry and and um mortars so we just want to take as little damage as we can and storm in and overwhelm them overwhelming casual uh, casualties and massive casualties are entirely acceptable Engage the cavalry. 
sepoys can deploy square so they will be safe if they make make it to our lines Make ready present fire they're upset again Form square, that's going to drag you in quite nicely. Retarget my quick climb against the other cavalry units. Form line. Gunners just bombard the enemy quick enemy cavalry as well. Now, how it says, begin to engage the enemy infantry blocks. And his garrison must come in. They've got a bit of a death delayed. This regiment of foot company infantry is going to tear them a new one. You men better have reloaded. Yeah, 26 light foot. We need some of those sharpshooting skills. There we go. Continue to pick up, pick them off. No, stay where you are. Actually, we are destroying them with precision musketry. Okay, the terrain here is very awkward. More enemy mortars. So you push through solo. Okay, right. Let's actually commit my cavalry, even though potentially very questionable. There's a lot of quicklime flying around. I'm okay with that. Charge! Charge the armed populace, make sure all my guns are aiming at the Sipahi right at the rear. Pitch my howitzers to round shot and they can also engage. You got a man, my light infantry got charged by cavalry, but I don't care. Cavalry not chased away that two man yet. Redeploy blobs of men over. Just swarm. Swarm on. Cavalry push on. battle is successful, we do not have to worry about keeping our forces intact at all anyway. So how it goes to you guys, oh, yeah, I want you guys to be engaging the Sipahi. The Howitz is now well within range themselves. They're winning decisively, they say. Not for long they won't be. Two cavalrymen. Again, not a lot, considering all the firepower that's arrayed against them. I suppose my colonial dragoons, they are just colonial dragoons. Let's 
Swarm, swarm, swarm. Zero prudeness, zero cleverness. Keep on taking them out. I don't think my company infantry is necessarily particularly good, but I step up from my sepoys. Quick climb range? Yes, you are well within quick climb range. Good kill. Oh, a lot of kills. They weren't like that one bit. Ceasefire the howitzers. Too late. I mean, those guys, these have held out really well. Killed enemy general. The human get around to the rear because you need to charge into the back of this Kizobashi cavalry that's held out superbly. Throw that infantry unit there. Nice. Uh -huh. How do you like it when you just get swarmed and overwhelmed, huh? It's not cool, is it? <laughs> Beautiful. So this is the yeah, that's second to last action. Well, it's time for the last action. Because this army very, very nicely decided to go to the shipyard. This all became entirely possible. Get rid of your university. Get everything else repaired. Good. Now you, Raphael Hartman. Let's take Hyderabad. Reinforcements be damned. You will not defeat us. At least I hope I, I hope this is the last uh, the last region. I've not. Oh, is Nagpur still a thing? I think Nagpur might be a thing, on reflection. So this might not necessarily kill them all, but uh, you know, we're going to be darn close. To be honest, you might even going to make it to Dagpur afterwards as well anyway. He's got a lot of armies in that area. Anyway, before we go get too, get too caught up. We're going to be needing... We're going to be relying quite a lot on our... How it says, because we have so few of them. Now it's drop power to fire in the center. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we can reach. So let's start attacking the units defending the walls. One volley has got one section of the wall down to fifty-one percent. That's pretty good. Taking a lot of secondary effects damage because they're just manning so many guns. So beautiful. So we've made a hole. Aim at the next section. Let's see how they redeploy. Try and stop us. Actually, there we go. That's a good unit to aim for with our howitzers. The, the egg, the oval shaped effect, will engulf the unit.
ideally, I want to knock this one down to more than 51%. Well, 51%, so if they all hit, this will, we will destroy the staircase. Sadly not. Good hit. I mean, camels, arm populace. Got some Ahadi. I think a really neat looking cavalry. Okay, let's speed up a minute, get another broadside off against that section of the wall. Okay, they all, yeah, they all um, ignore their orders. Broadside away. Oh no, it actually didn't damage the uh, section of the wall at all. Either way, let's make a few breaches and then squeeze. Although it looks like they didn't really care about defending the breaches, so uh, either way we need to attack some of these units on the walls to minimise the number of guns that are actually shooting at us on the way in. And we've trapped some units on the wall, which is nice. Oh, and our spies have done their good work and the walls are destroyed, or the gates are destroyed. How it says engage this unit very well. Push aggressively. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Has he not got a gun? And you're thinking, well, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have you. There's nothing you guys can do about it. Let's see where he goes. Will he just get stuck on the wall, or will he navigate around to the gate? Some of these guys are just bugged. Yeah, there's the mortars. Okay, start dropping quick climb short. Pull through, pull through. We are at the stage where we need to just maintain pressure. And to be honest, we might just want to skip fighting for the walls entirely and just get in. Let's get my howitzers to round shot center. Oh, actually, that didn't work. Okay, right. You men form up, engage. Well, you form up and form an initial line. You men get here and form a blocking position. Sars in, get my cuirassier in. New men push one of the flanks. Just 
You men engage the mercenaries, you men engage them. Get my Freikorps involved. Where's my general? Get my general involved. These men are going to fight to the death. You both form square. Okay, let's get my some of this reserve infantry. Well, not reserve infantry, but... Form square, you run in. Actually, no, you go for the mortars because you're caught. They are causing us to be upset. Fry cook, have we go at him? Maintain your squares. We're holding off the Ahadi. Although we are probably going to want to break the square and get involved in the combat. You're wavering, but it's mostly the mortars. If we can get them out of business. Now the general's here. You men get out of square. You men engage the Ahadi. Everyone else, who else is here? Get out of square and push in. Form square on the central spot, because there comes the enemy cavalry coming in. Push around. Enemy reinforcements coming in from behind my gun line. That's fun while they lasted. Infantry here form a bit of a defensive position. Now to fire cease. This square is firing in all directions. Yeah, my cuirassier have got stuck in. Well, to be fair, you're probably better off, actually, both coming in and defending from here. You can, men can just run. I don't care if you live or die. The gain here, the potential gain here, is huge. Especially if we can cause a decisive break in the enemy morale. If you can cause, if you can kill this Mortarman, you're the square. You men engage the 56th. New men go over here to block whoever comes in after us. Oh no, no sorry, you're a defense, Garrett, you're a defense unit. Yeah, that's correct. Being able to just barrel straight through these lines. I mean, look at this. They're all definitely done for. But either way, I think... I think the real goal is ours. The enemy force in the centre is just done for. Let's add an additional unit into the defence force. The general can take position in the centre. Okay, everyone prepare for the prepare for a potential enemy response. Not that they'll have a chance, because there's only 30 seconds. You mean bolster the front rank. Excellent. 
Well, here come some more of the reinforcements. They'd be going in through the gatehouse here. Here come our reinforcements. Who are perfectly able just to run straight in because the doors are now no longer existent. There we go. The city is ours. Exceptional job. If I do say so myself, that went really well. Question is though, I'm fairly sure Nagpo still exists. Oh no, we've got it. Sweet. <gasps> so they move away. Yeah! Okay, big deal. Okay, right. Make sure I don't... Okay. <laughs> Okay, saved. Whew. Big, 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 big. And I think, to be honest, that is the critical moment of the campaign done. And, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to see is just an overwhelming assault on the, on, in, in the Americas. And, yeah, I think it's going to be, I think the campaign's going to be steamrolling towards its conclusion. So here, let's start to recruit just oodles of ships. I don't know why I've settled on here is going to is the hub for transport operations, but I think it will be. That's where it's going to be. Oh, so much firepower. Okay, T, because we're in India. You're going to go to church school. Let's get these buildings repaired. You're replenishing, you're replenishing, you're replenishing. They hate us. Keep it as a shipyard for now. Man, this is a big moment. This is a really big moment. So you're on your way to Mysore to begin conversion. The university's going to be destroyed. Same here, isn't it? Get everyone over here. And more importantly, I think, my spies can begin to uh, also congregate. Not that they're ever, Not that they're really going to be needed now. Blow my my sneaky agents. Your job is done, sir. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We've got a lot of repairs to do. Can okay, you go into Sigismund's army? Excellent. My agents are going to continue on do their noble work. So we own all of India, all of Europe, and the Americas. Well, like I said, once we sh now we can start fighting these battles up here against the thirteen colonies. But each of their cities is going to get an army landing next to them. Oh, this is going to be glorious! Finally, this fellow who's been sat here for the entire game, Mr. Frankfurter, who's been critical for my Caribbean expansion. You know what, Mr. Frankfurter? What's your army? Have you got howitzers? Sadly not, that precludes you from taking the lead on the attack of, in, on Boston. But it is coming, my lords. It is coming as it's landing in Moose Factory, York Factory, Yankton. Oh, this is going to be great. String of Patna is being destroyed. Kurnul is being destroyed. Excellent. And again, I don't know why I want to congregate everyone over here. I just do. Do you, does Mr. Karl Strack, do you need to take, still be here? No, you do not. Does Mr. does Mr. Farber have to be here? Minus three, yes he does still. Can you take that position? Minus one. Recruit some militia. You don't need to be there. You likely do. You likely do. You likely do. Okay, cool. Let's hit end turn. Oh, more agents. 
moving around. Oh, these are Gurkha units heading forward, aren't they? Yes, they are. Oh, the end turn phase is so quick in comparison. It's so swift. It's so clean. Mass production has been researched. We know everything there is to know. Job done. <laughs> okay, seminary. Jesuit College. No, building a seminary. From a Jesuit College. Excellent. Oh no, that's how it's is going to redeploy. Oh, I see. So what we're going to want to do is take all these Gurkhas and get them down here. So, get the heavy privateer out of here. Get the agent in Sigismund's army. The exodus begins. Don't care about movement points. Excellent. Rebuild Goa. Get you guys up here. No, you can't really leave yet. So we're going to be dispatching the first four armies. Mr. Re Rachel, Raquel. Oh, bad luck. Can anyone else take that ship? Yes, Mr. Heinemann, you've been with us for so long. To be honest, I should probably just send everyone I can. Marbella, Herbert Talber, again, another stalwart of our of our uh, of our campaign mr muller you've still you've been around for a while make all these fifth rates It's going to be in this is going to be obscene yeah you were getting howitzers but no keep pushing <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous oh Heinrich Eich Eichberg Sorry, 13 colonies. You didn't anticipate this happening. No, you're not in range. Neither are you. Neither are you. A rebellion in my soul. That's interesting. That's rather quick. Just get my rakes to occupy just any army they can get to. Yeah, that is that is a bit odd. Still, they really like us now. Can you leave Goa? Nope. You're going to come south and just obliterate that mice or rebel army. And you're going to come out, kill them. Hope. Oh, you don't even need to occupy mice or now we've killed the rebels. Replenish. I mean, I don't, again, I don't know why I'm making everyone go north, but I think these guys are in line to get some Gurkhas if they take long enough. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then that also means you that have been waiting very patiently 
Fresh army from Bavaria. Get you out there. You can push up to here. And also take some of these fifth rates over. Absolutely glorious. Let's hit N10 again because I want to see it happen again. <laughs> You're in no position to demand anything. You may be terrifying and spectacular, but I don't really feel intimidated by you at all. Yeah, and you better watch out, Quebec, because you might have a lot of ships, but those ships ain't going to stop us from marching over and taking your territory. Math blocked. Okay, so someone ran straight up to the ships, which is fine. Fleet arrives, singular or multiple. That is the key. That's the, uh, the caveat. This is going to be beautiful. World-beating fleet. <laughs> well, well, that's what, I mean, no, not world-beating fleet. World-conquering army. And you know what? I think they're right. Let's get all these other buildings constructed. Commercial port in Orissa. Seminary tea warehouse. Some steam power cloth mills. Aha. Leavis cottage. Okay, cobalt roads in a Madnagar. Okay, let's get the steam powered cloth mill rebuilt. Just get it down here quickly. Get you up here. Okay, let's try and get these guys some Gurkhas because they've not really got. A lot going for them. You chaps do the same. Like I says, oh, I've walked into the back of him. So, yeah, well, pathfind around him. Well, I suppose it's complaining because it's not technically the most efficient route. Now, fleet arrives. It's just the one fleet, actually. Oh, it's because it's the one that came from Europe. So they are there quicker. You can land and take Moose Factory. Open up the Northern Passage. If the natives want to make a thing of it, they can. So let's just auto that. Rupert's land is ours. Fortify. Get rid of the College of Divinity, which is convenient. Although, they got a lot of priests. There's a new Spanish one here, though. But I think the optimal way to end this episode, apart from collecting... How many more Gurkhas have I got to recruit? None. No more. This is all the Gurkhas we get. I think the thing to do is to hop over to the Americas, take one of these armies that have been here for ages, and launch an attack on the 13 colonies. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. 
So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. But now, our final conquering of the Americas. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>